Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, stories, and trends from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live. That's right. We are live, Keith. Yeah. No pressure. Thanks, Dean. You bet. You bet. We are live at Data Cloud USA, co-located with Metro Connect in beautiful downtown Austin, Texas, home of the Longhorns, yep. the state capital of, of Texas. And from what I understand, the motto is... Uh, keeping it weird. Let's keep it weird, Austin. Okay. I guess so. So it's, it's Austin. Let's so stay weird. Let, let's go ahead and stay weird. Yeah. Um, okay. So speaking of weird, this guy on my right is Keith Klesner. Keith is the VP of Development at Radius DC. Keith, welcome to your first JSA TV. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me, Dean. It's exciting to be here and excited to share what's going on or what we're hearing about at Data Cloud and what uh, Radius DC is up to. So let's start with Data Cloud then. Yep. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on with the show? Oh my gosh. Uh, attendance is, seems up over years it is, past. It is. And yeah. Uh, yeah, the energy is high and you can tell there's a lot of you know new folks in the industry and then there's a lot of new very large scale projects that people are talking about so it's pretty pretty exciting that is that's precisely what i'm seeing here um and look it was a great event last year um i would say there are twice as many people in the exhibit hall right now as i saw last year yeah. again the event last year very good but it's amped up yeah a it's little amped bit. up and you can yeah you can tell the digital infrastructure space is growing and yeah. interest levels high investors are very interested and so everyone's here to talk about it and yeah a lot of money in the industry and a lot sure. of ancillary players that are helping to make those big installations happen on the yep. digital infrastructure side but speaking of digital infrastructure yeah. let's talk about radius dc yeah. for our viewers that don't already know why don't you tell yeah. them a little bit about radius dc yeah radius data centers is a edge connected data center platform so we're focused on the core network edge. And that means actually not these very large, huge data centers, but something smaller that fits within an urban or semi-urban environment to really grow a connectivity ecosystem uh, in these metros that are underserved. So the big markets all have like pretty good uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. but we're finding a lot of these tier two, tier three markets, uh, they're void of capacity and our hyperscale customers really need it there. So that's what Radius DC is up to, and that's what I'm up to. So, so yeah, you saw the need, and you're yeah. feeling the need. Yep, exactly, and uh, I'm excited. We just launched our uh, a groundbreaking at our new Nashville site last week, um, and we're kicking off a 12 megawatt new product that can essentially support those hyperscale customers, and we're going to be the largest and newest data center in Nashville, right? It's an example of a market that has a ton of eyeballs and a growing economy yeah. and a growing region, um, and we're there to serve that need. Okay, so um, I'm going I'm to say this. Keith, you sound like somebody who has been in the industry for 50 years, but I know something that other people may not know, and that is you are you just got hired at, yeah. at Radius DC. Yeah. Is that correct? That's right, Dean. Thanks. Um, yeah, I recently joined Radius Data Centers uh, just in June. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, previous to that, I worked at a, a, at a provider um, and then previous to that, I was fortunate enough to work in Microsoft and really plan our, our Azure strategy. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been fortunate. And then, you know, along the way prior to that, uh, to be in the space. And I'm excited to be at Radius Data Centers because yeah. we're kind of, we're, we're really addressing some areas of, of huge need in the market. So where there's a lot of focus here at the event and in the investment space on these mega campuses, but essentially those mega campuses all need a place to connect and back to users and into population and to yeah. businesses. So. Yeah. Uh, very good. And I uh, uh, welcome to the, welcome right. to this specific yeah, yeah. Uh, piece of the industry. We're glad to have you. Yep. Um, final question. Um, the demand for data, uh, yeah. clearly the demand for data centers yeah. is not going anywhere and it comes in all sorts of flavors and sizes and, yeah. and, uh, and, and proximics mm -hmm. uh, to and, and away from population areas and stuff like that. Yeah. But as far as demand mm -hmm. goes, wh where does Radius DC fit in, in terms yeah. of, of filling uh, the, that void for that demand? Yeah. Yeah, no, I see we're going to grow significantly, just like many in the space, right? So we're going to go and grow into new metros that really are devoid of that capacity that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, 
to, to really think that demand curve is is obviously growing from classic commercial cloud, yeah. uh, my old days at, at, uh, at a big cloud provider, but then also, of course, the AI demand and the AI demand is real and we're, we haven't even seen it totally hit the edge yet in in there's a lot of theories that inference will essentially land inside cities, right? Yeah. So right now it's these huge, very large uh, campuses where there's a ton of growth and training is underway, large language models. But it, at some point, and we're getting to that point, we believe, and we're starting to hear some signals that yeah. that inference will start to be distributed more. And, that, and that's one of those areas where we're going to support that part of the growth model. And uh, Radius DC as a platform is, is well positioned for that. Yeah, I mean, because if that does not happen without that connectivity, yeah. that does not happen unless you have Radius DC in these other markets. Yeah, exactly. And so we're right now just in three markets, Nashville, Denver, or Miami. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm excited. I think we'll be able to share early in 2026 a bunch of new markets that we're growing into. And that's part of our platform. And, and uh, we're, we're part of the Blue Owl digital infrastructure umbrella. And uh, we're excited uh, to go serve our customers in yeah. these new markets yeah. and, and obviously support that investment in digital infrastructure. I've spoke now to a couple of the, the Blue Owl mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, team of, of mm -hmm. companies and you all are s exciting. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a very exciting time to be a part of kind of that um, that organization. It is. It is. I'm really excited to be part of a Blue Owl org. Yeah. Um, they really understand infrastructure. They understand the investment cycle and, and the, the real need. And when there are, when there's opportunity, they're super supportive. So Radius DC is super fortunate to be part of that umbrella. And I think we're going to look forward to sharing more as, as we continue to grow. Let's do this again in 2026, shall we? I love it. I love oh, it, Dean. All right. Let's you, go for it. You bet. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you real soon.